Hi, and welcome to this quick tutorial for how to cite sources in PowerPoint. I'm Camille from Nuts and Bolts Speed Training, and I'm excited that you're here. Before I dive into PowerPoint, I want to quickly talk about why citing your sources in PowerPoint matters. And this is very important because you want to make sure that you are citing your works anytime that you are referencing anything in PowerPoint. And that even includes a picture that you found online because there's a tendency to assume that content online is free and it is not. It is owned by someone. It's a published work by an author and we want to make sure that we cite it. So here are the reasons why it's important to cite your sources in PowerPoint. The first one is to avoid plagiarism. Plagiarism. Plagiarism is a very big deal. Uh, not only could you be infringing on the rights of somebody else, but you could be legally bound by that. It's also uh, you know, not a good ethical position to be in. You don't want to be stealing, using, or misappropriating somebody else's content, and you wouldn't want that to be done to you. So definitely always make sure that you cite your sources. You can never cite too much, to be honest. So make sure that you cite your sources to avoid plagiarizing somebody else's work and potentially even getting in trouble legally because of that. The second reason is to increase your credibility. So if you have a presentation with all your uh, sources cited and all your citations in the right order, it increases the impression that the audience or the user or the uh, reader of your presentation has on your content. It shows that you've done your research. It shows uh, sometimes maybe that you're referring really important, interesting people or that you have a wealth and a breadth of information or knowledge at your fingertips. And that is always good. If you are creating a presentation, you're trying to get buy-in from typically whoever you're presenting to and the more credibility you have the further your message will go so use citations in your presentations to increase your credibility the other reason it's uh, it's good to cite your sources in your presentations is that it provides more information to the the reader the audience whoever's looking at your presentation right sometimes I've gotten presentations or seen slides where something is quoted and I'd like to reuse it or I'd like to go further in depth into that topic or into that that book that journal that magazine article etc but there's no way to get there because the source is not cited properly and it's very very frustrating so citing your sources properly in PowerPoint presentations allows whoever is the recipient of that presentation to dig further deeply into that topic, into your topic, and to actually find the original source and do their own research. So it's a really helpful tool for the end user as well. Okay, so now that you understand why it's important to cite in PowerPoint, let's look at how to do it. And before you even open up PowerPoint, you need to first determine the level of citation you will need. If you're creating an academic paper or something that is going to be published, you want to make sure that you are using the full proper citation system, whether that's APA, MLA, Chicago, or any other of the systems and the officially recognizes methods for citing other people's works. On the other hand, if you are creating a presentation that is going to be delivered verbally and there is going to be no record of your presentation other than potentially people taking photographs of your presentation, then maybe you can have a slightly more casual way of citing your sources without necessarily citing all the full, uh, the full in-depth details. Or you can even decide to cite verbally, but I do want to make sure to point out that you make sure to check which kind of citation system you're going to be using first. Once you've decided which system of citation you're going to be using, the question is, how do you do it in PowerPoint? And there are multiple ways to cite sources in PowerPoint. The first way is to cite your sources verbally. As I mentioned earlier, if you are just giving a presentation live in front of people and there is no recording whatsoever of your presentation and you don't need to have in-depth sources cited, you can simply cite verbally. So for example, in this situation on slide number two, for example, you wouldn't necessarily need to have the actual author's name there, although it doesn't necessarily hurt, but you could simply say that this quote is from Sir Richard Burton in 1856. The second way to cite your sources in PowerPoint is to do so in text, to use in-text citation. And the way to do that is just like I have done it here in this second slide. So you have the quote here that is the main content of the slide other than the picture. And the quote is actually what you are citing from a, another author that is not yourself. And you'll notice here that I have the author along with the 
um, the type of uh, content that it is and the exact date of publication cited here underneath the quote. So it makes it very clear, uh, not only with the quotation marks, but also with the citation within the body of text that indicates that this refers to the content that is being cited. The way to do in-text citations is very, very simple. You can simply add it. Uh, in this example, I've added as its own text box just beneath the main body copier, the main item that's being sort, uh, cite, cited. Or you can simply add it to the very end. So in this situation, the quote would be from Bertrand Russell. You can simply add a parentheses, paste that in, and close the parentheses. And that is exactly how you can do in-text citation in PowerPoint. The third method for citing sources in PowerPoint is to do a footer type of citation. I don't mean the footer that you can insert here the, along with the uh, page numbers, etc. I don't mean to use this because this footer will actually paste the content you type in here onto every single slide that you apply this to, which is not going to be uh, very effective because that will imply that you're citing that source on every single slide. So if you're not doing that, which I'm guessing is not what you're doing, you can create sort of a mock footer. So anywhere on the bottom of your slide in a smaller font size, you can actually refer the, the viewer or the participant in the audience to the actual location of the source that you are citing. Now, another thing I like to do is I sometimes like to put a little, a little superscript uh, number up here, which will help you cite your sources and will also potentially make it easier if you want to create a sources cited slide that is at the very end of the presentation, which I will get to next. So this is a simple way to create a footer type of citation for your work. And to create this little one, all you have to do, I'll just uh, give you an example right here. You type in a one and then you will select this one and you actually go to home select the little arrow here in the font section, and then you will select superscript. And if you want to learn the shortcut for superscript, check out the link in the description below. So that is how you add a little one that you can add here. And for the next ones, you could add two, three, et cetera, et cetera. So let's actually go ahead and do the same thing for here in this situation. So let's go and add a two. I'm going to use shift and arrow key here to select the two, make this superscript. And then I'm going to take this text here that I have inside the notes of my slide, copy it. Then I'm going to draw in a text box. I'm going to control V to paste the text. Then I'm going to stretch it out. Then I will make the font size smaller. You can use uh, your arrows here. You can use this one, or you can simply use control and left bracket to make the text smaller. I will stretch this out so that it fits all the way, drag it down here. You can decide obviously where you'd like to put it, uh, what size you want your font to be for this particular footer. I would recommend making them the same on each slide. Now you can either simply put source here uh, and remove this two, or if you have a two, you probably don't need the source. You can simply put the two at a space and we'll do the same thing here, shift and left arrow key, and then we'll make it superscript as well. So it's your choice whether you want to, to put the numbering system in. So you'll do that for each source that you put, put in a footer. And then the numbers will increase slide to slide, or you can simply put source and not have a number. And then it'll be clear that um, the content on this slide is coming from this source. So that is how you create a footer style of a citation for the works cited in that slide. The fourth way to cite sources in your PowerPoint presentation is simply to create a sources cited slide at the very end. And this method can actually be used in conjunction with all of the previous three methods that I mentioned, because it's always helpful to add even more information. So for example, for the quotation up here by Bertrand Russell, it might be nice to add the full page number and title of the work, as well as the publisher, uh, depending on the type of citation system you're using. This is a simple way to, at the very end of the slide, let people know exactly where to find the content and exactly where it came from. So that is another way to cite your work at, uh, inside of your PowerPoint presentation. So that's it. Those are the most important things that you need to know about citing your sources in PowerPoint.
If you want to learn more about citing a website, a book, a YouTube video, or any other method for citing your sources in PowerPoint, check out our article here. And I've also created a link in the description box below. Thank you for watching this video. That was how to cite sources in your PowerPoint presentations. If you found this video helpful, please like the video down below and subscribe to our channel to make sure you stay up to date on all the latest awesome tutorials that we are publishing on a regular basis. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day.